thought we'd spend a little time getting ready for the AP Cal exam by finding a definite integral here. This is what I'm looking at, and this is what we really have to think our way through is we're looking at this stuff. We have to look for these patterns, and here we have at the bottom, I'm always looking for this ln pattern. Is this, if this was the function, would this be its derivative? And if that's true, we have an ln. So that's exactly how I'm looking at this. I'm looking at this by asking myself, is 2x the derivative of x squared plus 9? And it is, right? So because it is, I'm going to start, I'm going to start off with that assumption. So I'm going to just start working my way through it. And I'm going to just do a little u substitution here and see where we get. So I'm going to say, let u, holy crap, really. Let u equal x squared plus 9, right? So this is u substitution. I'm going to say, well, then d, du, the derivative with u of u would be 2x dx, wouldn't it? And from here, I'm going to solve for dx, and I'm going to say that du over 2x is equal to dx, right? So I'm just going to start redoing my work down here and say, okay, I have this thing here. I have 0 to 4, right, of 2x over u, because remember, we said that we're going to assign this value, u times du over 2x. Where did I get this? I got this right here, right? From here, look, this cancels and this cancels. This is like bingo for us, isn't it? We have the definite integral from 0 to 4 of du over u. That is the definition of ln, isn't it? So we have this thing defined as ln. So, right, this is ln by definition. So I'm going to go ahead and start to integrate here. I'm going to say that this is ln. Of, I don't have to put absolute value because it can't go negative, can it? Of x squared plus 9 as taken from 0 to 4. Isn't that right? So that gives us ln of 4. So we have, remember, we're going to do f of 4 minus f of 0, right? Fundamental theorem of calculus here, right? On the middle theorem of calculus here. So we're going to do that. We're going to do the ln of 25, right? 4 squared is 16. 16 plus 9 is 25, right? This negative sign right here is this one. F of 0 is ln of 9, right? 0, 0 squared is 0 plus 9 is 9. ln of 9. So from here, you, you go and you're doing a multiple choice portion of the exam, you're like, oh my god, what just happened? That answer is not available. But look at this for a second. Remember, the rules of logarithms say if, if we have same basis separated by a negative sign, it means division. So this negative sign is equal to division for us for logs, right? So we're going to do ln of 25 minus 9. So ln of 25 ninths. All right? Okay, you guys. Got to keep doing problem after problem after problem. We're almost there, so keep rolling, okay?